Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim, MJ TV. Uh, today I want to share the story about um, how you upgrade your old Mac uh, based on your the current compatibility about your hardware. And then um, if you uh, purchase the, your your Mac or the iMac, uh, iMac Pros, and then Apple Mac Air, then Apple MacBook or the MacBook Pro, or like uh, you are able to upgrade a certain amount. Of capacity if you are planning to upgrade also um, your graphic card and your memories and like SSD like that so today I want to introduce the old Mac upgrade as well as um, the currently Apple uh, they announced the um, uh, Mac OS Big Sur which is released the uh, end of November uh, as I, I can see and then uh, this uh, Mac uh, OS Big Sur is currently released as a public beta, beta. Um, is a uh, OS 11. So since uh, 2001, uh, after Mac released the uh, OS X, uh, there are different uh, you know operation names uh, like uh, Mac OS Tigers and Leopard, Snow Leopard, and um, the um, and uh, Air Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra, and uh, Mojave, and uh, Carolina is current uh, up to date version before Big Sur. But, uh, those are all version 10 so those are like a uh, new uh, like a uh, platform upgrade is uh, 11 so it's pretty much close to you know Mac, um, macbook um, like uh, ipad or iphone so you can see the wi-fi bluetooth airdrop do not disturb uh, screen mirroring display sound music those uh, platforms are very uh, similar to the ipad and so you know actually those are really big upgrade and the, those are icons and the dock and pretty much the 3d uh, dimensional things and there are the shade um, like uh, shade things and all kind of things then even though I just uh, uh, small slow down that uh, those uh, hard disk it looks like you know the 3d so and then also it supports a lot of changes so I want to share what changes Mac pixels added so basically um, it's customized um, doing it you know, all new ways so it's kind of um, you know you can use the, your iPad or iPhone and then uh, board new experience and make magic your the um, like the photos and all kind of things are uh, you know user friendly as well as if you have a, a, a I um, watches and iPhone I uh, ITV Apple TV and then those are also connectivity is pretty good and also the new Safari function so if I just close the Safari and then create Safari and turn it back on let's see how it goes so from favorite private report reading list from iPhone whatever you go in there and it also uh, save the history so basically your new software is very powerful and uh, you know connect to with uh, your iPhone those are pretty good functions for for that as well and also the customized starting page so like a widget you know you have iPhone iPad you have a widget you can put the, your the favorite things and you can uh, click it so this is really uh, new functions uh, Safari extension with the app stores improve tap design so the tap design is pretty pretty good so as you can see here those are like um, you know just go to any things being and then go in there being the website did not contact any trackers or the like uh, you know security is pretty good password monitoring and yeah so improve power efficiency so they said that this power efficiency is pretty good 50% uh, faster on average on loading frequency visit the website than Chrome. Uh, so, yeah, many changes you can see it there. Um, yeah. What else I can tell you? Uh, pin conversations. So, whatever you want to pin in, you get it group photos, dimensions, images, and memoji, search and all kind of stuff that you can uh, work with it. 
the uh, search and then re um, redesign the yeah, all kinds of stuff that you want to share it's pretty good guide so map guide whatever, whatever you want to go and then you open Wikipedia and then you are you can see all that kind of stuff and also yeah very user friendly editing and photos uh, automations and deeper web knowledge for CV so those are new uh, features that I, it's connect connection with the uh, iPad and iPhones and iWatches and you can see all the, all kind of stuff there. So uh, introducing macOS um, 11 Pixel uh, beta, beta, and then I uh, installed this uh, uh, Pixel is a mid 20, and then actually uh, 3.46 uh, six core. And then with a 64 mega megabyte, and then the graphic card is a Radeon RX 580 8 gigabyte. Actually, um, old Mac Pro 4, 4.1, 5.1 from Craigslist, KDD, Facebook Marketplace, and you are able to um, actually the purchase that one from 600 to 1100 based on what they or what they have it from the basic spec, and then. Um, you know, usually the 2010 comes with a 2.66 core dual. It's a, you can upgrade 3.46 core dual RAM, 32 to 120 gigabyte if you uh, are able to purchase the dual CPU board. And then actually I'm upgraded to AMD Sapphire RX 580, 8 gig. And those are, if you are not the um, Apple uh, Flash, if not Apple Plus Flash the graphic card, Actually, you need to do um, some open core, and then actually a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD. You are, you need to have a ex external like a uh, uh, like a card ex uh, internal card extension PCIe, uh, so you can support the B uh, dash M key. Uh, so you can able uh, you you are able to upgrade to Mac Carolina 10.15 to Mac uh, OS Pixel. So the commercial side, if you want to approach that, and then uh, actually um, there are like uh, two, the two or three sites that you know really support all the you know the old Mac uh, the hardware upgrade. So if you are purchased from the you know the commercial side, there are five comma one basic tower used one is a uh, seven hundred fifty around six hundred to seven hundred fifty for it depends on singles double. The dual core upgrade is at almost a twelve hundred. So. RAM uh, 128 gigabyte. If you want to upgrade to 128, you are able. Uh, you are gonna spend uh, 500 dollars to put the uh, six, 16 giga times eight. Uh, eight memory is of uh, almost 500 dollars. So compared to macOS so 5.1 to 7.1, 7.1 is uh, currently uh, released uh, from last year. And then if you are add on the, like a 3.5 giga like a 12 cores and Intel Xeon and then also two terabyte uh, SSD and a 192 gigabyte RAM and then you are gonna spend almost ten thousand dollars. But um, if you are uh, you, uh, usable upgrade to Mac 5.1 and you are able to buy those are uh, the left one is a 12 terabyte SSD so two times six. So that is a forty two hundred ninety nine. So if you are like line up with a you know, SATA from the SSD, the computers, uh, you know, the performance is really faster than anything else. Um, I have a dual boot, boot mode. One is a Mac West Carolina. It's one terabyte SSD, and this one is a just S SATA, um, one terabyte because from the better beta version, I I want like keep it in the uh, at a SATA drive that I had using for backup. So I install there, and then just the starting uh, line is pretty fast. I um uh, when I just start with the SSD, but uh, if I do with the SATA, it's pretty slow. So that the price is almost a half price, and then you can get more comp uh, like extensible you know update. 
So compared to Mac Pro 6.1, it's uh, it calls uh, cylinders, and then in the on the like used market, it's a uh, commercially the three thousand dollars. Those are three point five gigahertz six core Xeon, on twenty four gigabyte RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD, and Mac OS Sierra ten point twelve. But you are able to upgrade up to the Carolina, and then that's your AMD D five hundred. So used one is around three thousand dollars. Uh, from 5.1 upgrade is a Mac Pro 5.1 12 cores, 3.46 uh, 12 cores, uh, 128 gigabyte RAM, 2 terabyte SSD is around the uh, 3500 to 4000, and 3.4 comma 6 cores, 64 gigabyte RAM, 1 terabyte SSD. The single the CPU board is uh, around 1600 to 2500. Uh, depends on upgrade flexibility. So Pixel does not support the below this hardware. So if you are if you if you purchase the MacBook and all other Mac devices before uh, this date, and then you are not able to upgrade to the Pixel as officially. MacBook is a 2015 and later. MacBook Pro is a late 2013 and later. iMac uh, 2014 and later. Mac Pro 2013 and later. MacBook Air 2013 and later. Mac Mini 2014 and later. iMac Pro 2017 and later. So what can you do with uh, your your Mac? Is so of you can you are able to do the photo editing, two two D to three D illustration, and video video editing for YouTubers. And if you wants to, you know, uh, frequently like uh, updating your video editing so with the, all, all the captions, then this is a good tool for Final Cut Pro and iDVD, and also VM Workstation working with uh, your Mac OS uh, Windows Ten Ubuntu while you are running a uh, Mac OS Pixel or Carolina, and then I. Have been using the Parallels desktop or like a VMware and or Oracle's uh, virtual things that uh, I'm able to, you know, like uh, run multiple like uh, workstation at the same time for the music editing or server workstations and the remote desktop and then you are able to do many things like uh, you know camera server things like that. The powerful video editing software is uh, we call the Final Cut Pro X for Big Sur. We have a 90 days of free uh, trial, and then after 90 days, you can buy the 399.99 from um, uh, App Store. So, and if you are planning to do the you know powerful professional video editing, the Final Pro is Final Cut Pro is a, a good tool. So basically, when you do the streaming service like uh, OBS, so OBS is uh, like a streaming uh, software. Uh, that's saved as uh, MKV. So MKV uh, is not you are not able to. Uh, just unload it. Uh, you are able to unload it uh, YouTube right away, but you are not able to bring it up from the IDVD or Final Cut Pro X. So if you are planning to um, the convert this program, actually uh, there is a tool that um, I usually use. Um, uh, this program calls. Uh, let me take a look right now. So this is Final Cut Pro. Yeah, I'm using four video MKV MP4 converter, and and I purchased this ones uh, with the uh, like twenty thirty dollars, and for the yeah the, after that I'm able to convert from um uh, like MKV uh, to um the like uh, MP4 file. So that's that's why I'm gonna do it. So these are thirty nine ninety nine eighty percent off. Those are five five one one bundle. And I only do the eighteen dollars spend or eighteen dollar for DVD bundle. And then probably that's a four K video converter. So I'm I purchased uh, some of this program. So the video converter. So it's not uh, that expensive though. So Bixer user in um. Uh, Pixel user interface like iPhone and iMac, so I already introduced that. Uh, you know, if you purchase the new iMac or just upgrade from the old uh, Mac Pro, and then you are able to um, upgrade to Pixel as long as you have a matter uh, GPU like uh, uh, Sapphire RX 580. So, in, in order to upgrade uh, your system more powerful, um, this um, BM key is the left side and uh, M2 is the right side. So if you do the NVMe uh, PCI uh, E Express, uh, you know the SSD, 
actually you are inserting this card and then also the, you purchase the M, uh, B, BM key or the M2 and you are able to uh, upgrade uh, your uh, expand more, your hard disk more so unlimited upgradable compatibility so that's a beneficial way you buy, purchase the old, old Mac so Mac 4.1, 5.1 and then I have uh, a 2G 27 inches and Apple LED cinema display those are only support up to 1920 by 1080 but if you purchase the you know better one also this uh, uh, two uh, DVD bay uh, can be used for the you know, hard disk uh, space so then actually I just almost uh, I attach to the USB uh, with the Blu-ray writer so old Mac Pro 2010 5.1 uh, I have I installed the because I'm right now currently I installed the single CPU so it's only up to 64 gigabyte but if you have a double CPU dual board is uh, you are able to upgrade up to 128 so maximum graphics support is uh, with a um, AMD Sapphire 5 X RX 580 7680 uh, by 4 4320 those are the Dell ultra sharp 32 8k monitor 18 monitor is for currently right now it's 8 grand or 6 grand USD in the, uh, in the market so it's for the hard, hard drive uh, for regular is up to 6 terabyte additional 4 to 6 uh, uh, add additional depends on the PCI upgrade so you have a hard disk upgrade some of the uh, PCI card is support a 4 SSD so probably you can expand uh, as many as you can uh, for unsupported Mac upgrade with uh, OS Catalina upgrade so if you can see uh, from Mac, uh, Mac Pro 3.1, 4.1, 5.1 I Mac uh, 2009 and you are able to upgrade with this way late 2018 and uh, 2008 early 2009 with a Mac mini and MacBook so Mac mini 3.1 has to have a early uh, 2009 or new Mac mini I my one is a 2012 later later uh, late 2012 so officially that the upgrade the official upgrades up to Carolina so in order to do the big sale, I uh, have to you know do the unsupported uh, open core things. So project five is for the my uh, upgrade is iMac twenty one. Uh, it's a late 20, 2012 or newer in Carolina. So basically, um, the system has to have uh, this uh, late late 12, 2012. Um, but uh, I have a uh, two thousand nine eight thirty uh, thirteen eleven. That's Intel three zero point six. Uh, core intercore dual 8 gb ram and 500 gigabyte hard disk and 21.5 inches and then it installs the mac os high sierra and then 300 dollars in the market so basically take off the order to the 4 gigabyte to uh, memory slot and then it's in replaced to 8 gigabyte uh, times 2 the pc3 8500 ddr3 and crucial bx 500 one terabyte ssd and then replaced uh, from sara and graphic I can do nothing about it those are involved the uh, uh, soldering the chipset so you know basically those are maximum graphic GeForce that you can have it but if you consider external the eGPU and then you are spending between four to six hundred dollars and then actually you purchase another uh, monitor set that you can use uh, as a dual monitor so um, three hundred dollars and upgrade cost is 112 the OWC one terabyte SSD if you buy the Western Digital 150 eGPU Razor Core X Aluminium, those are 460 for the external like uh, graphic card. Uh, total without the uh, uh, GPU upgrade is 530, 70, and total with GPU upgrade is a thousand thirty. Those if you are just a regular user, it's not a power professional user, and then this thousand thirty is a good uh, to use for uh, like three to five years. Uh, if you want to support by me and the mega upgrade service consulting, I do um, remote support or just uh, physical support all around this area. And then you can send me, shoot me emails and just have a like subscribe subscriber. I will give you a like detailed tip uh, after this uh, video updated. Thank you very much and have a good day.